Good morning. So it's uh, 4.30 in the a.m. right now. And uh, I haven't been sleeping. Instead, I have been installing stable diffusion. So what is stable diffusion? Stable diffusion. Let's go to the desktop and take a look here. Uh, Stable Diffusion is a latent text-to-image diffusion model capable of generating photorealistic images given any text input. So I'm going to go over here to the uh, to here and let's uh, let's make an image here of uh, what, what shall we do here? Let's do a uh, uh, oh. Let's do the movies. Let's see what happens. So this takes a while to generate. So I'm going to kick this off. And this uh, this last time took. Uh, a little over three minutes to do. So uh, let's go back over here while this is doing this. And uh, so if you've seen DALI, uh, where you can tell it something, it generates an image, this is essentially the same thing, but it's free. And I'm running this on my little Mac Mini. So that means that uh, you should be able to run it on on your Mac Mini also. So how did I do this? Well, I found this article here. Run stable diffusion on your M1 Max GPU. And so it says here that you really want a 16 gigabyte RAM Mac, otherwise it's really slow. You need uh, the newest version of Mac OS, uh, 12.3 or higher. You need a, uh, a 3.10.6 for Python. So what did I do? The first thing I did was uh, I created a Conda environment with uh, Conda create minus n. And I called it LVM. And then I specified Python equals uh, 3.10.6. And then uh, I didn't have to do this. I already had Python installed, so it wasn't necessary. But it's always a good idea to run brew update. That doesn't that never hurts. Uh, and then uh, you have to activate the uh, Conda environment if you want to see what version of Python it is. So you can do a Conda activate LDM and then a Python 3 minus V, and you should see the uh, uh, version that you specify. Then I want you to clone the repository. Now, this is not the, if you go over to uh, Stable Diffusion's website, uh, you, it's called Stable AI, uh, you will not see this repository. This repository has been created by someone else. It's a fork of their repository and it's uh, it's created specifically for MPS, which is the metal uh, system. I forget what the P set stands for. But it's for Apple Metal. It's to use Apple's GPU. So clone this and then uh, I do it from my code directory. This is still running. Uh, what I can do is I can this horizontally and uh, let's go over to my code directory. I do not want to be here. I want to be here. There we go. So I do it from my, my code directory and then it's uh, git clone all of this stuff. 
get clone minus the apple dash silicon dash mds export and then https all of this stuff here and this will uh this will create this uh stable diffusion directory And I have I have Dirty EMD installed, and I created the dot Dirty EMD. Well, here dot EMDRC. You don't have to do this, but I find it to be uh, convenient. So once this is uh, cloned over here, what do you do next? Well, we have our conda environment. We have. Uh, we have the stable diffusion directory. You see the into it. <laughs> and you'll see all of this here. And you've got the requirements.txt file. And this has all of the packages that are necessary. And so we're also going to make this uh, directory here at this time. Models LDM stable diffusion dash V1. Because we're going to put our model in there eventually. So we'll just, just create that. Uh, we don't have to do this. We already did the conda minus uh, conda create minus n LDM Python equals uh, 10 dot uh, whatever it was. So you should make sure that your, your environment is activated. So uh, you can, uh, I think you can always do a, a conda list here. And this will list all the packages that are in there. It should also tell you the uh, environment that you're in currently. So you see it says packages and environment, blah, 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 LDM. So that means we're in the LDM environment. It shows in my prompt over here. You probably have something uh, on your system that will show LDM in your prompt, although it won't look like this necessarily. All right, so once we're in the environment, double check this, Python minus dash dash version, here we go, uh, 3.10.6. Did I ask for that or 3.10.4? I don't recall now. Uh, anyway, uh, once that's done and you, you're in the stable diffusion directory and you can see the requirements.txt, you do a, uh, a pip install minus r requirements.txt and for some reason this uh, github repository is recommending that you use pip for installation instead of conda i don't really understand why but uh, if that's what they're recommending then do it that way and uh so i'm not going to do this because i've already done it but when you're when you're done you may have an error. I had an error on mine. And the error might see something like this. Failed building wheel for Onyx. So I needed to do this. I needed to do a brew, install, CMake, protobuf, and rust. And then I just ran this command a second time. And it went very quickly because most of the packages had been installed. Uh, it just verified that they were there and then built the wheel for Onyx. And once that's done, then you go over to the Hugging Face repository. And I did this. This is here. And uh, you'll read through this. It will ask you to accept the... Uh, 
they will ask you to accept their licensing agreement, which says things like, uh, uh, you just can't use this to harm people or harm the government or do anything illegal, stuff like that. So go ahead and read that. And then uh, if you want, you can enter the uh, uh, repository and you'll see these weights here and these two checkpoints and it says to download this one so you click on this one i guess this is the smaller of the two models this one's four gigabytes i'm not sure how large this one is uh and depending on what machine you have you might give this one a try but i downloaded this one and then once you download it uh, you have to move it from your downloads directory into the directory that we created earlier here this uh models lvm stable diffusion v1 and call it model.ckpt so it has to be named this it has to be in this location so move it from your downloads directory once it finishes and then if you've done that, then you can run this script here. And that's what we've done here. We've run, uh, let me see, from here, we don't need this anymore. Uh, I ran that script here, and you'll see that uh, this one took four minutes and 11 seconds. And it says your samples are ready and waiting for you here in outputs slash text to image dash samples. So I have a, uh, a finder window open. This directory is not here originally. It gets created the first time you run this. And then uh, it will put the images in here and you can click on it and see it. And I guess this is the Pope going to the movies. Uh, doesn't look like the movies. so. I'm not sure how good this uh, this model is. It may be that uh, if you want something good, you have to run the full model. And I will give that a try at some point. But for now, uh, this is Stable Diffusion, and this is how to set it up on a Mac. And uh, yeah, I I hope that uh, I hope you enjoyed this and learned something from it, and uh, have some fun.